हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ यू आर टूडे टॉपिक इज मास एंड वेट यस वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट मास ऑफ ए सब्सटेंस एंड वेट ऑफ ए सब्सटेंस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट अस डिस्कस व्हाट इज कॉल्ड मास आई वांट टू आस्क यू अ क्वेश्चन से आई हैव टेकन दिस बुक हियर इज अ बुक फाइन नाउ if i ask you by what material this book is made yes by what material this book is made is paper yes whole book is made by paper now if i ask you how much paper is there that means the mass of this book understood so any substance any object first of all you have to see what the material is there in that object how much material is there in that object that is the mass of that object clear now we will discuss what is called weight say i am holding this book fine if i lift this book the book fell down why because are this attracting the book yes when you are holding the book like this if you lift it then the book falls down why because earth is attracting the book now if i ask you by how much force yes by how much force the earth is attracting the book that force is called weight of the book understood say if you jump from a height say you are standing at a height of 2 meter okay 2 meter or 3 meter you are standing there now suddenly you jump if you jump where will you go you will come to the earth surface why because earth is attracting you by what force force earth has attracted you that force is the weight of you understood now say another example a mango tree the mango is falling from the tree where it will go obviously it will come to earth surface why it is coming to earth surface because earth is attracting the mango yes now by what force earth is attracting the mango that force is weight of that mango understood it's very simple okay now we will see by what device you will measure the mass of an object we require a physical balance by which we measure the mass of an object physical balance you do not know physical balance no problem see the photo physical balance by using this we measure the mass of an object now if i ask you by what instrument we measure the weight of an object the name of that instrument is spring balance again you do not know what is called spring balance see the photo spring balance by using this we measure the weight of an object so what i told you to measure mass we use physical balance to measure weight we use spring balance got it now i want to tell you one more thing mass if i ask you say we are on earth surface fine where we are now obviously on the earth surface here on the earth i am asking you by what material this book is made you are saying me paper now say we are going to somewhere say in other planet okay jupiter saturn or any other planet i am asking the same question there by what material this book is made so you will answer me this book is made by paper obviously wherever you go wherever you go any planet any satellite wherever okay this book is made by paper we cannot deny it that means the mass is fixed everywhere whether in a planet in a satellite wherever you go 
द मास इज फिक्सड मास कैन नॉट चेंज ओके मास इज ऑलवेज फिक्सड एवरी वेयर इट इज फिक्सड इन एवरी प्लैनेट एवरी सेटेलाइट वेर एवर ओके मास इज सेम बट वेट येस वेट इज नॉट सेम एवरी वेयर बिकॉज वेट इज समथिंग द फोर्स बाई विच दैट प्लैनेट एट्रैक्ट फाइन नाउ इफ यू आर टेकिंग दिस बुक इन ए सेटेलाइट से वी आर इन मून ओके वी आर ऑन द सर्फेस ऑफ मून then the moon will attract the book with a less force fine then the weight of the book is less on the surface of moon actually wherever you are standing now your planet or your satellite by what force that particular planet or satellite it's attracting your book is called its weight understood so weight is not same everywhere now i'll tell you one more equation from which we can describe the whole thing very nicely that is the relation between mass and weight the relation is let me draw it for you weight equal to mass into gravity gravity of that planet understood g means gravity gravity acceleration due to gravity got it so w equal to mg fine i will elaborate it see say you are on the earth surface this is earth understood now we are on the earth surface here what is the value of gravity the value of gravity is 9.8 okay the value of gravity we know 9.8 now when you are going upward yes if you are going up the value of gravity changes okay if you go up the value of gravity will decrease understood so from 9.8 say here it is say 8 here it is 7 here 6 here 5 so in this way the gravity changes and at some extent the gravity is zero understood so when you are going up from the earth surface the value of gravity decreases and at a particular height the gravity is zero fine so when you are taking the book here the book will be attracted by a surface if you take your book here the book will be attracted until you are going there at zero so when if you take the same book here where the gravity is zero from here the earth is not going to attract the book understood the book will be floating there the book will not be attracted by r understood because their gravity is zero okay so by using this equation i can easily describe it say mass of an object is 10 kg fine mass of an object is 10 kg so what is this weight on the earth surface so weight equal to mass of the object is 10 kg into gravity what is the gravity on the earth surface 9.8 so that is 98 newton newton is the weight of the sorry newton is the unit of weight got it newton is the unit of weight fine now if the same book i am taking here where the gravity is zero what is the weight weight equal to mass into i told you mass is same 10 kg 10 into what is the gravity there zero zero so equal to zero newton so the weight of the same book 
at this level is zero. Understood? Because weight depends on gravity. The value of gravity. If the value of gravity will decrease, the amount of weight will also decrease. Understood? Now, I want to discuss more on this. Now, say, this is Earth. Fine? Earth. And this is the center of Earth. What I told you, what is the value of gravity on the Earth's surface? Surface means here. The value of gravity is 9.8. Okay? Nine, what is the unit? 9.8 meter per second square. Meter per second square. Fine. So, this is the book. If I say you, the uh, what is the mass of this book? What we considered? 10 kg. Say 10 kg is the mass of this book or any object. So, what is the weight of this object here? Weight equal to mass into gravity. 10 into 9.8. That is 98 Newton on the earth surface. And I also told you that when you are going up, the value of gravity decreases. So from 9.8, it will come 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Say here, the value of gravity is 0. So what is the weight? Weight equal to mass into gravity. Mass means 10 into gravity is 0. That is 0 Newton. Understood? So in this way, its weight will decrease. Say here, at this level, the value of gravity is 5 meter per second square. Yeah, obviously, when you are going up, the value will decrease when you are going up. So what is the weight of gravity here? Say 5. So what is the weight of this object? Weight equal to mass into gravity. Gravity is 5 here. So 5. 50 Newton. Understood? Now the question is that if you are going down instead of going up if I go down then the value of gravity will increase. No. The value of gravity will again decrease. So if you are going down again the value of gravity will decrease and in this way when we reach at center of the earth the value of gravity is again zero yes the value of gravity is zero there and at the center of earth again the value of gravity is zero so if i ask you what is the weight of an object or weight of the same book whose mass is 10 kg what is the weight here so again my weight equal to mass into gravity since the gravity is zero so my weight is also zero understood so if i ask you what is your mass say you are saying that my mass is 50 kg fine your mass is 50 kg so at this level your weight is zero and at the center of earth your weight is zero understood now one question for you. Say so this is the earth surface. Or this is the earth, earth surface. Now what I am doing, though it is not possible, but just imagine what I am saying now. Practically it is not possible actually. But at least we are, we can imagine. Say, you are digging here. Yes, you are digging. And by digging, you are straightly going there. Fine. You are going there. Got it? So, here I am making a long hole and I am coming out from this side. Fine. Okay. So, it's a long hole. A long cylindrical hole. Though it is not possible practically, but just imagine. And now what you are doing, you are jumping from here. Fine. You are jumping from here. So, what do you think? 
what will be happened with you whether you will come out this or you will stay here where is your position fine so if you jump from here you will come out from this side if you jump from here in this way you will come out from this side or you will stay somewhere in the cylinder where that's your question and you have to answer this in the comment comment below you i must answer this correct now we will discuss the difference between mass and weight actually we discussed what is called mass and what is called weight now we will make the column form where we'll write the difference between mass and weight got it first difference you can see we already discussed in first difference it is the measure of the quantity of matter yes i told you that uh, the book is made up of paper how much paper is there that is the mass fine weight what is weight the amount of force by which your earth attracts you that is the weight of you but on earth now if you are standing on a uh, on another planet or a satellite then the force by which that satellite or that planet attracts you that force is the weight of you got it next difference mass is a scalar quantity yes mass is a scalar quantity means it has only a value no direction yes mass does not have any direction just a value weight it's a vector quantity why vector quantity because it's a value plus direction obviously because i told you if you jump from a height where you will go you will go down because earth is attracting you so you have got a direction so that's why weight has a value also a direction fine and uh, mass uh, si unit of mass is kg i already explained si unit of mass is kg then si unit of weight is newton understood one more information cgs unit of mass is gram and cgs unit of weight is dyne correct next i told you we measure mass by physical balance i showed you the photo also you want to see the photo again the mass is measured by physical balance and by what instrument we measure weight spring balance again see the photo spring balance correct now next difference is mass is same everywhere i told you whether you are on the earth surface or even the surface of another planet or any other satellite mass is same everywhere weight different weight is not same everywhere that depends on which planet you are standing or which satellite you are standing now i told you uh, w equal to m into g the weight depends on the value of gravity when the value of gravity changes weight of an object also changes we have seen here our surface at a particular height gravity is zero okay if you reach there then earth is not going to attract you understood even at the center of earth the gravity is zero so if you are going to the center then earth is not going to attract you got it so this is the difference between mass and weight i hope you understood and uh, don't forget this question which i asked you that uh, if you jump from here then where you go are you going to get out of this hole or where is your position actually so you answer me in the comment section correct thank you